Hello there. If you are also a TV series enthusiast like me and you want to keep a better track of what you have watched, what you want to watch in the future or what's next season you are waiting for, this video is just for you. Without wasting your time any longer, let me show you the database I have created in Notion for the specific task with its details. If you like to download it and implement it to your workspace, check the link in the description below. I've included it there as a template by itself. Let's jump to it. Well, as you can see, it's still under construction. What I mean by that, I haven't filled out all the data for the all the series I have listed in this database. But structure-wise, it's complete. So when you download it, you will be like good, good to go. You can add uh, any series you want to add and fill out the data for it. Well, the view we have here is not the most important part of this database. What's important is the template I have for every TV show. Well, what are the properties I have added for these TV shows? Firstly, I have a watch status. What does it have inside as options? Well, if I haven't watched it yet, it's the series will be in my watch list. If I've started watching it, but for some reason, I've had to stop or deal with some other things and I couldn't keep on watching it, uh, even though I liked it. I have an on hold option. If I finish the current season and I am waiting for the new season to come out, I have waiting for a new season option. If I'm watching it currently, I have watching option. I mean, this may look a little bit redundant, but when you think of it, I mean, not all series are released fully with all of their episodes. For instance, for the better part of this last six months, I watched Better Call Saul and I would like to see how many series I am watching simultaneously on this database. So I have this option. If I am done with a series, it's either not finished, so I have won't finish option there. And if I have watched it fully, I have watched option. Well, what else? The season I'm on, I have this for long series, like for instance, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Sometimes I cannot continue in a regular basis. So I have to remember which season I was on or to like see it as a progress where I am on in this process. Also show status whether the show is ongoing or ended. Rating, this is kind of tricky. These do not have any nominal values. However, we will come to that. I have created a simple formula to equip these stars with nominal values. What else do I have? Genre, of course. I These are not so detailed for now, but you can add your own options. Watch the round. Actually, this is kind of important for me because I want to have an idea of when I watched which series, but I want to have this yearly, not like exact specific dates. So Notion doesn't have an option to pick the, the date as a year. So instead you have to pick exact date. Therefore, I have included a start a date I started and date I finished the series. However, I have watched around property that derives the year from the date I finished the series. This has a formula in it. It's not that complicated as you can see. What else? What else? What else? Also, I, and finally, I have the number of seasons. You may fill this out. You may not fill this out. Why would this be important? This would be important to uh, see your progress. If I could, we could add a progress bar property to this TV show template and uh, turn like create another property which would be a formula that picks a nominal value from the season I am on property and with that season a nominal nominal value value of season I am on and number of seasons we could create a progress bar maybe I will do that in another video for now this is gonna be this is gonna remain as simple as this well this is pretty much it these are the properties in this template. What you're going to do, let's say that, let's filter this. I, I will show you an easy way of adding items to this database. Let's say that we have nothing to do with the name. Let's say that you are 
gonna add the series you have already watched. You will pick watch status, like is watched, add another rule, what can it be for instance. Let's say that these are all shows that are ended, their show status, yeah. These are done shows. What else? Uh, you will also, these shows will also be, but they, let's say that they will all be four star shows. Or let's say that these are gonna be five star shows. When you have this filter on, Notion understands that if you were to add another item to this view, it's gonna have those preset properties. So let's add something. You see, these uh, predetermined properties are already added to this new item I have created. In with, uh, I'm by using this method, you can, you you will not have to, you will not have to like add all properties one by one, but kind of like add them as a batch, a bundle. Well, I guess this was pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in another.